first you need to create a sequence i just create a 1080 a full hd sequence and name it it main and create another sequence and make it a custom size because we want to import the images into this sequence so frame size into 1080 and 1080 because we want a, a square sequence and change the name into photo 1 and import the photo into this sequence and press press button in keyboard to zoom in timeline and adjust the photo in this sequence and go to the main sequence again and drag the photo one sequence into the main sequence and look like this and You can adjust the project view like this and now import your mask into top of this photo one sequence and change the blending mode into screen now you can see through this black area in bottom layer so the thing is we need to adjust the size of this mask image so i just adjust the height and width separately now select both photo one and image and make the nest and change the name image mask and this is the image mask image and mask and nest again so <laughs> don't need to nest again and just uh, decrease the scale and adjust the position then nest again i think you need to nest and change the name into image size or anything now because we want we need to fit the sequence area into the viewer or the program window so we nest double uh, dual time now import your reveal i mean the reveal and set the first frame and tick on the image sequence and open the reveal transition and just add into the bottom of image size and this is the reveal video transition and now you need to adjust the size before i just make it the top and v2 and 3 layer and go to the right stretch tool to adjust the duration of this transition video the reveal video Now you can adjust the rotation or anything of this reveal video and make the covering the image size sequence or image of your image and now go to effects and here's the key and apply the track mat key into the image size sequence and 
put the fs control window to adjust the track mat options and use the composting in video 3 because our scribble video in video layer 3 and also adjust the mat luma now you can see your image is reveal as per the video transition now now import your background the paper texture into the video layer one and the main problem is that we can see the ending so select the image size sequence and change the blending mode into multiply or anything I will just copy the scribble video into video layer 4 so also we need to change the track mat, mat into video 4 because we change the transition video into video layer 4 and also copy the image sequence by pressing alt change the blending mode into a color burn now it's more contrasting next you import in the this type of dirty textures for make it the blend more into i think the soft overlay or soft light This is good overlay is good and not just a position of this dirty textures and you can again import the chain again and to more layer so and again change the blending mode into overlay okay. this is for better <laughs> reality you can add more uh, grain textures and the old film overlays or anything for more realism now your basics slide show the slides is okay next you need to add a, a title so i am giving a typewriting title preset with this file you can download by the description link and Install this title in through the essential graphics. Uh, if you want to install this essential essential graphics title, you must update your Premiere into CC seventeen point one or eighteen, and just install this title. This is a typewriter title, and you can adjust the title size and title text in the essential graphics window and i just move the title position into the side and change the text just a degree 
the size of this title. Now select all your layer and right button and next and change the name into slide one and this is your first slide you can see the title and slide in here now we need to make it a look 3d so Go to the FX and VDFX and perspective. Here is the basic 3D. If you have placed the basic 3D, you can swirl or tilt this there or this nested sequence. So if you want to make it 3D size, a 3D looking animate in basic 3d values so i just increase the distance to image for zooming and make it more zoom and apply the shrill and tilt it and add a key at the last frame and add a key at the first frame and also just decrease the distance to image and select the both three keyframe and move into the last frame and here is your finisher type slide it's nice looking 3d movement and also brushed style slides and hope you enjoy it if you like it please hit on the subscribe button and expect in every week tutorial and have a nice day